Hi, this is Andrew Munson, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, we are going to be going over how to start a conventional survey within Survey Pro. We will go over how to do the station setup and the multiple options within station setup. The equipment used in today's Tech Talk is a Focus 35 robotic total station, a Ranger 3 data collector running Survey Pro 5.7.1, and a Trimble 360 prism. A tripod, a range pole, and a tape measure is also used. There are some assumptions made with this tech talk. You will need to know how to set up equipment over a control point, create a job, and connect to a total station. If you do not know how to do these things, go back and watch our other videos on how to do this. To begin, make sure you have your total station set up on a control point. Measure the height of the total station. Make sure to write this down as we will use this later. There are two spots to measure to on the total station, and it is important that you know which spot you measured to. There is a crosshair on the side of the total station that is the true height, and a notch on the side that is the slant height measurement spot. We will begin on the main screen of Survey Pro. First, we need to make sure that we are in optical mode. You can check this by looking on the right side of the screen. There is an icon that will look like a receiver or a total station. If it shows a receiver, click on it and scroll down to tap on optical mode. Once in optical mode, click on survey, then station setup. Once on this screen, we can begin to look at different options for the setup. There are different types of setups that can be done. You can use a known point, unknown point slash resection, multiple back sites, and the option to use last setup if one has already been done in this job. For this demonstration, we will select known point. We can use this because we have already entered in a point when the job was created. We can enter in the height here as well. If you measure to the true height mark initially, you can enter that in here. If you measure to the lower height notch, you can enter that height in here, then click the down arrow beside the height box and click the option Convert Slant HI to HI. This will calculate the difference from the bottom notch to the true height mark. It will warn you of the change. Click Next at the bottom of the page. The next page is where you'll select your backsite. You have options here as well. You can choose to set up using a new point, a backsite point that has already been measured, and backsite azimuth. For this demonstration, we will use a new point. In the box below, you can choose how the new point is oriented. You can toggle between azimuth and bearing. We will use azimuth. Enter in your azimuth here. Then select either roving target or fixed target. Enter in the height of your prism. If you tap the arrow beside the height, you can choose from different prisms that are saved in the data collector. Then tap measure and set. From this screen, you will measure the back sight. If you are not logged onto the prism, you can tap the magnifying glass to search for it. You can check if you are locked onto your prism by looking at the top of your screen. Once locked on, you can tap Take Shot. It will then measure and you can enter in information about the point. Once done, tap the green check in the top of the screen. 
You will then be taken to a screen to review your setup. Once done, click Finish. You have now set up your total station and are ready to survey. And that concludes our Tech Talk on performing a station setup in Survey Pro. We went over how to do the setup and the multiple options within the station setup. I hope you found this beneficial and will join us again in the future for more Tech Talks. Feel free to check out our other videos as well. Thank you.